Hi and welcome to the screencast. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and I'm starting a new series to learn ASP.NET MVC framework and we're going to start from the very very beginning understanding the folder structure. Okay so after you create your ASP.NET MVC application using a file new project and then selecting ASP.NET MVC application you will get this folder structure. Now if you are coming from the web forms background you will notice that this folder structure is completely different from that. It has a content folder, controllers, model, scripts and views. Let's see what these things actually mean. Content. Content contains CSS, JavaScript files, kind of like a resource files that you have you will put in the content folder. Let's move to the models. The model is basically the model of your database. Okay, so it can be represented by entity classes. It can also be represented by data table, data sets. If you're old school, if you like to do those uh, data driven kind of programming, then you can use data sets, data table, and represent that in a model. We'll see later that it's a good idea to have models in a separate uh, library or a class library project so you can test out your model along with the MVC application. Before I go any further, I would like to go ahead and thank our sponsors, which is Manning Publications. Are you looking to master ASP.NET MVC framework? Then pick up a copy of Manning ASP.NET MVC in action. Jeffrey Palemro, Ben Sherman and Jimmy Bogart are considered leaders in the .NET community and they have written a true masterpiece. This book covers the MVC framework in detail by creating a real-life application. It contains concepts like dependency injection, test-driven development, domain-driven design, and of course a deep dive into the ASP.NET MVC framework. This will be the only book you will require to master the ASP.NET MVC framework. Simply visit the website at manning.com slash palermo, P-A-L-E-R-M-O. Welcome back. So, I was uh, telling about models. Let's move to scripts. Scripts is of course a JavaScript file so you can place over here. Okay, and then we have views. Oh, in the content you can actually place images and the JavaScript file you can place in the script folder. Views. Before views we should go ahead and study controllers. The purpose of the controller is that it will intercept your request and whatever action that you have implemented, like the about action, is going to go ahead and render the about view. Okay. Now if you go to view, you will see that uh, that it has account folder, it has home folder, and it has shared folder. So the home controller will actually going to look in the home folder and it's going to find the about and it's going to find the index. Okay? So basically what you do is you have, if you have a home controller, it's going to uh, look in the uh, views for the home and then the about action is when triggered then it's going to load the about or ASPX page. Shared is basically everything you want to share like site dot uh, master pages like error pages and there are some app offline pages something like that. The shared is basically executed first when looking for a, a view and then the views folder is executed. Okay I know it sounds a little bit weird to uh, for this because you have been coming from the ASP.NET web forms background but in the next video tutorials I will explain that how all the things actually attaches and how they work. The last thing is the global.as AX and where you define the route. Now routing is basically uh, the method that you will trigger the action okay and you can actually write your own action We'll see all that in the in the next tutorial, and uh, hope you like this one. Thank you very much.